Getting old is not for the faint hearted. Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express, a very ticked off Vic here. You know what ticks me off? Bathroom activities are so much different when you're young than when you're 60 years old. Now, follow me. Be because it's become painfully clear that just the simple act of doing anything in a bathroom is another thing that gets all fucked up and convoluted and complicated as you get older. Why? Ask the big man upstairs. This is his plan, and he has some sense of humor. Look, when you're a kid, anything you, you do in the bathroom is a breeze. You have to take a poop and a shower. You run in, you sit down, you drop the deuce like it's a Tootsie Roll falling out of a garbage bag, and then you, you hop in a shower, and you, you lather up, and rinse off, and towel off, and throw on your clothes, which fit exactly the same every single day. And you ran outside and played. Why, why was it easy to do these bathroom things when you were young? Well, first of all, everything was new and worked properly, like a new car. But! When you're young, you're pretty much hairless. And that is the critical difference. Hair. It's all about the hair. Now, at 60 years old, this is uh, the simple process of doing anything in the bathroom has become way too complicated and takes way too long. Why? Hair. Okay, start with the poop. Besides having to go more than once every morning because apparently my body is too tired or too busy to evacuate completely in one sitting. But the cleanup is just something completely different than in my youth. Sometimes you can swab the poop deck all day long and you still strike oil. Why? It's a combination of two things that happen with age. One, your body no longer makes solid, perfect stools. Now it makes something that's similar to a sausage made of pudding and candy bars and then dipped in the La Brea Tar Pits. Am I right or am I right? Number two, that fucking hair you now have all over your ass and all your ass and all over your balls and inside your thighs and around your taint. Simply put, that fucking hair holds everything like a fucking, like a vulture's talons. It grabs the toilet paper and, and the poop and turns a simple process into landscaping work. Remember when you were a young hairless kid? It was just smooth skin. Now it's, it's like there's a thousand tiny hands grabbing and holding and screaming, Please, sir, can I have a, a little more? It's like, it's like Oliver is living in your fucking ass. So now you have to take a shower after a sit down. And again, the hair you acquire when, you, when you're 60 years old continues to make the simple process of taking a shower with something out of a fucking sci-fi horror movie. First of all, you can't just lather up anymore. Oh, no. Now you, you, have, to, you have to fight the body hair like you're a giant uh, Brillo pad. You, you know how hard Brillo pads are hard to lather up? You got you to gotta sit on the soap to go under the fucking hair or the skin. Never really gets clean. It's like trying to wash a gorilla with a fucking handy wipe. Anyway, then you get to the part where you, you got to make sure your bottom is clean. And this is where it gets truly odd. First of all, you have to basically have anal sex with the bar of soap. You can't just soap up that area like when you were a kid. Oh, no, you got to dig in and get inside and under opening and deal with skin folds that didn't exist. And you got to get these fucking ass whiskers clean. And don't look down. God forbid, whatever you do, don't look at the shower floor. There's little bits of toilet paper and dingleberries. It looks like a fucking barbershop floor in the middle of a, of a, of a rainstorm after someone threw up raisinets. Anyway, once you fight the body here and the whole ass thing, now you towel off, which is just longer and harder again because of the full length coat of body hair you're wearing. And, and, and then you finally get dry and you put on your clothes, which is, which is another fucking nightmare, depending on how bloated you are based on how foolishly you ate like you had three assholes the day before. And then you may have to shit again, which is always a wild card, every morning. Getting old is not for the faint hearted. That's for sure. Your body becomes like, like an old car that still works, but it smells a little funky and weird shit happens once in a while. And it makes odd noises daily. And, and, and that's that. Bathroom activities are so much different when you're young than when you're 60 years old. That's what ticks me off.